I'm feeling cold. I feel tired. I do you work. I do ya. Believing in God, that all things are possible. Welcome to one of Africa's highest, most remote and unknown mountain ranges located in Uganda the Pearl of Africa, bordering the Democratic Republic of Congo. The Renzori Mountains are stretched out over 120 kilometers long and 61 kilometers wide. They are called Mountains of the Moon, or even the Rainmaker, especially as she produces up to 350 days of rainfall annually. 13 Ugandan mountain climbers are about to set off on a journey to climb the highest peak of this pristine mountain range called the Margarita Peak. This expedition, funded by the United Nations Development Program, is intended to showcase the beauty of the Renzori Mountain. Flagged off by the United Nations Development Program country representative and Joshua Cheptegei, the fastest long-distance runner on Earth. The team will attempt to summit this unique peak while discovering the wonders of this mystical and demanding mountain range. To the people of uh, Renzori, you have the best place in the world. Treasure it, keep it. I'm so excited. I'm so thrilled to have this opportunity to summit Renzori. Look at this. This is amazing. This is Mount Renzori and this is the National Park. We will unveil to you the beauty of Uganda, the Pearl of Africa. The best never rest. Our prayer is to reach on the top. So I'm very proud to be part of this Renzori expedition. I'm proud to be doing this with Lily. We are the only two females who are doing this. The sun is out right now and all is going well. Oh Renzori, beautiful place to be. Formed about three million years ago, the Renzori Mountains are a relatively young mountain and still growing. The mountains of the moon are blessed with a wide variety of flowers and plants. With every hour and every altitude gain, the landscapes, colors and views are ever-changing you can find different layers of vegetation, bamboo zones, mossy heather zone, lobelias, alpine zone, and eternal snow at the top of the mountain. This UNESCO protected national park contains unique biodiversity and breathtaking sceneries such as the Tano glaciers, snow fields, mountain lakes, and tropical rainforest. The wide diversity of flora and fauna make it the ultimate trekking experience.
It's an adventure. It's life. It's fun. Very scenic. Amazing, amazing, amazing experience to go through the waterfalls, the hike itself, the boggy places. It was just amazing. But also a little bit more difficult, but I guess that is what the experience is all about. Beauty about it is that we are all working as a team. I'm doing very well today. Last night I had a bit of a running tummy and a headache. I think it's an effect of the altitude sickness. And then I noticed this morning that my lotion is frozen. So I think we are at quite a, an altitude and it's getting colder and colder. But I'm feeling great right now and that's a good thing. My headache is gone and I'm looking forward to the day. Everyone in life wants to get on the top. But what are the techniques? What's the way of reaching to the top? I have just come to realize reaching at the top is not easy. You have to pass so many things. It has never easy way. But when you believe in yourself, when you prepare your mind, I have a saying of saying that uh, nothing is impossible. The Kilembe Trail is a marvelous but challenging 82 kilometer hike that requires an eight day trek with six days to the summit and two days of descent, depending on the weather conditions and the endurance of the hikers. Tiresome yet rewarding this hike starts at 1,800 meters and culminates at an altitude of 5,109 meters on Mount Stanley, where the Margarita Peak is the highest point in Uganda and the third highest peak on the whole African continent after Kilimanjaro and Mount Kenya. All accommodation, paths, Bridges, woodblocks, stairs, and rope sections have been built over the years by the local community who now serve as guides and porters. They provide incredible knowledge, assistance, and safety on the way to the top and back down. So here we are at uh, the height of 4,000 meters. And in the uh, background, uh, if you see straight, you will see the green, the green buildings. That is uh, Bugata Camp. I must have uh, strained my ankle. It was not only a long walk, but it was quite steep uh, coming down to, to camp. Uh, so this morning, I just couldn't put my foot down. It was very difficult to walk. This is really helpful. I'm getting a celebrity massage. According to the local community traditions, two main spirits inhabit the Renzori Mountains, one man and one woman. Kita Samba, the spiritual god, is there to give blessings and protection. People pray to him for daily rain, the source of all life on earth. His wife is called Nyabagole, 
also known as Nyabinji. To enter into contact with her, one must spend time praying in the mountains and bring food and crops. People pray to her for fertility, love, and good fortune. One of the sayings is, if you respect the mountain, she will give it back to you. for the mountain tomorrow. Excited. Yeah, so what we are going, no sleeping today. Thank you for being strong. Thank you for having gone through the mud up to this point. So we are here to give you the briefing for the summit tomorrow uh, before we go, we go to, to the uh, rope practice. Uh, we have uh, 3.6 kilometers just from here to, to the top of Margarita. But that short distance takes time. It takes around five, uh, five to seven hours. We've decided that we live here at 1 a.m. So roughly from here to the first glacier, it may take us two hours. So getting to the first glacier, we shall need to, to have uh, the crampons. Uh, getting connected to the ropes. If there is any crevasse fall, if one falls in the crevasse, then we are able to pull you out so quick. You transfer your hand. You push, you pull yourself up, you push, you transfer your hand, you put it this way. If you want to lock, because this one is locking, I'm feeling cold, I feel tired. It's but okay. I have to go and get to the peak of Margarita. It's believing in God that all things are possible. Your body's gonna feel like breaking down. But your body's the only thing that can ever give up on you. You're the only one who can give up, your mind. So mental power is gonna play by the role. your heartbeat, every single bit moving, you have to reserve as much energy as you can. I am limitless. We are going on the top. You're not competing with anyone to climb that hill, over that mountain. You're not competing with anybody. This is you, and you against yourself. Mm. I've not got such kind of experience in my life. I'm a fighter, I have fought, I even fought my shadow. 
but this Renzoli is becoming a hard blade. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Preserving the mountain is capital. Unfortunately, due to climate change, the ice cap has reduced considerably over the years. With up to 350 days of rain per year, 
The Renzoris provide water to around 5 million people within the area of the mountain. This water flows to the River Nile, the longest river on Earth, and continues its journey to Sudan and Egypt. Locals believe Calicia is a spiritual entity helping human beings enter into contact with nature to discuss with the wildlife and the mountain directly. That's how the local community receives knowledge from the trees, all types of plants and medicinal herbs. People love and respect this mountain so much for the water, the medicine and the incredible vegetation it offers. Renzori's glaciers, magnificent waterfalls and lakes make it one of Africa's most beautiful alpine areas. Uganda Wildlife Authority has been actively protecting the many endangered species within the national park, such as the blue turaco and the three-horned chameleon. This unique biosphere is a true gem that needs to be preserved not only for the many endemic species it contains, but also for the local community, which directly benefits and leaves from the mountain's gifts. We are going to rescue the drone because our drone is just hanging up there in the middle of the rocks. So we are going to climb up there and make sure we have to come along with it. But before that one, we are planning first to make sure we are safe. Everyone, especially the one who is coming to be removing the, the drone from down, is supposed to be safe on the rope. We are also going to be giving communication, especially directing him where he's supposed to go. This rock is just having moss which are very slippery. They contain some water. Carrying 50 kilograms, they are climbing. These are the porters. And these guys, they keep moving on speed. You think that these guys are immortal? They work with passion. They know every step, every corner. We are around the 75 porters, including the guides. We are now 85 people in the whole group. Some of our colleagues have just arrived now from Hanwick's camp. They have given us information that our friends have just got stuck in the way. They have been weak. They have done a lot of work. They have moved long distances. Some are affected by altitude. So we are collecting ourselves together to rescue them. 
There is great knowledge that they have, the skills that they have is comparable to none that I have seen elsewhere. They're superheroes. They're really super. Many newly discovered waterfalls are tributaries flowing into the powerful Nyamukasani River that runs from the Renzori Mountains through Chalumba, Chondo, and Kisinga sub-counties to Lake Edward. They flow over rocks that present themselves like a silver lining to form a misty situation down the valley when viewed from a distance. This is a completely new trail which has even like 17 waterfalls just along this trail. In eight days, we have experienced so many things. Besides the experience of the mountain, there has been the experience with the different vegetation along the different altitudes. No wonder it is a UNESCO World Heritage as well. I saw something too brown. At first, I was like, what is this? Then I saw it try to come towards me. I stood up, I looked at it. It is beautiful. Renzori Mountain offers trails for all levels of hikers, which range from one day to 10 day trips. The shorter trips are not as physically demanding and still showcase the amazing beauty and the art of nature, including rare vegetation, rivers, and numerous waterfalls. Renzori National Park is located on the foothills of Queen Elizabeth National Park, one of Africa's most popular game drives, and a few hundred kilometers from the Bwindi impenetrable forest that inhabits the endangered Silverback Mountain Gorillas. And to quote Winston Churchill, for magnificence, for variety of form and color, for profusion of brilliant life, bird, insect, reptile, beast. For vast scale, Uganda is truly the pearl of Africa. encourage my country men and women to take interest in our domestic tourism promotion to visit to scale to go to climb that mountain i'm still trying to look for the one word to describe renzori right now it is indescribable but it's just magical there's something about it it just changes you you're suddenly humbled just realizing how great this mountain is. It's incredible, beautiful. I don't even know the words to say. Like guys, nine days in the mountains, no for nothing. It's, it's stress-free. I encourage everyone to take on Renzori. This mountain has many mountains on it. Before you reach on the top, you climb, you slope, you climb, and slope. We all reached at the pitch. No one was looking handsome apart from me. <laughs>